Welcome back to our series on the budget template makeover. In this series, I'm sharing tips and strategies to take this basic budget template and help improve both the look and feel and the usability to make it easier for our users to use. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how to remove duplicates. And we're going to do this to create a list of unique values that we can eventually use for drop down lists, lookup tables, and a lot of other things within our budget template. All right, so we're back here in our budget template file and I'll make this file available for free download. I'll put a link to that in the description below so you can download it and follow along. As I mentioned in the last video, on this sheet here, we have this column of budget and then actuals. And the actuals are produced by this sum ifs formula. Now you don't have to know this sum ifs formula at this point, I'll explain it in a future video. But the source of this sum ifs formula is this transactions sheet over here. It contains this table with all of our transactions. Each line item here is a transaction for income, or expenses. This might be an export from a bank statement or you might be manually typing these in. But either way, you're going to have some type of transactions table that includes all of your actual numbers. And one painful process with budgeting is categorizing transactions. So in column D here, we have this category column. And as you can see, there's a category for every single transaction here. And one thing we can do to make this a little bit easier to use is create a drop down list in this uh, column here for every single cell. So every single cell will be a drop down list where the user can select an item instead of having to type it in. Because when you type in these categories, if you misspell those and they're not all exactly spelled the same, then you're going to get errors in your reports as we start to sum these up and create pivot tables and formulas and things like that. So the first step in creating a drop down list is to create a list of unique values or remove duplicates. So here we have this list and it does have a lot of duplicates in it. So we just want to create a list of unique values. Now there are several ways to do this in Excel. I'm just going to explain one technique for using the remove duplicates feature and I'll explain why I use that technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is select all these cells in the column of this table. And a quick keyboard shortcut for that is control space. Hit, hold the control key and hit the space bar. That'll select all the cells in the column. I'm then going to hit control C to copy those or right click copy. I'm then going to add a new sheet and select cell A2 and then I'm just going to paste the values in the sheet here. You can right click paste values or any of your favorite keyboard shortcuts. My favorite is menu key plus V. I have a separate video that explains that. So now we have all of our values here in this separate sheet and we're going to go up to the data tab on the ribbon and we're going to click the remove duplicates button. And that'll open up this window here and since we only have one column of data here, we just have column A. We don't need to make any changes here. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. And Excel is telling us that it found 144 duplicate values and removed them and 20 unique values remain. So we'll go ahead and hit OK there. And now we can just see our list of unique values. And of course, we want to uh, give this a name. So I'm going to call it category at the top. You can make that bold. We'll also look at turning this into an Excel table in the next video. But now we have our list of uniques. And we can use this list for a lot of different things. The first thing we're going to look at using it for is to create a drop down list. But we can also use this for lookup tables, uh, formulas, and a lot of other things within Excel. So even though you might think this is kind of a simple task, and maybe not directly related to budgeting, I find that I use this uh, task and this technique of removing duplicates very frequently whenever I'm creating budget templates. As I mentioned, there are a lot of ways to remove duplicates in Excel. And if you're familiar with any of those techniques, you might be thinking, hey, John, why didn't you use Power Query or a pivot table or the new unique function to create your list of unique values? And there's actually a reason for that. In this scenario here, I want to keep my list static, which means I don't want it to change if there are new or different values added to this transactions list over here. Because we really want to control these categories and we don't want our users inputting new categories kind of without our approval, right? We don't want them to just type anything in this list and we want to control that. So some of those other techniques are great and they can help us automate the process of creating a list of uniques if our data is constantly changing and we want that. But in this case, we're just using the remove duplicates feature, which is kind of the quick and dirty feature that might be a little bit old school, but it really helps just keep this list static. These are just static values here that won't change and we'll have to come into this list and make changes to it or add items to it if we want those items to be used in our category list. And I'll put links in the description below to some of our other videos on different techniques for removing duplicates. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how to create a drop down list 
based on this list of unique values. Now, if you have any questions or suggestions about this video, feel free to leave a comment below. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and then head over to excelcampus.com slash free to grab our free Excel Pro Tips ebook. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.